Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I'm going to be showing you how to get a legendary piece of armor called Tessa's Fist. And so what you're going to, or I'll show you where I am first. So here I am. This is the Peabody house. If you help a, a kid named Billy find his home, you will find this area. Uh, also around here is University Point, which is the place where I sold you how to get the uh, unlimited ammo, or the... Uh, the never reloading gun. Uh, there's Jamaica Plain, Gunners Plaza, uh, Nepenset Nipen, Park. Uh, there is some stuff over here that I just haven't discovered yet. I will be discovering it, but there is some stuff over there. Here's the castle, uh, the Gwinnett Breweries, uh, and then the two railroad uh, stations. So here's it's about it's up here in Quincy Ruins. Uh, you need to find Tessa if you come from the. Uh, come from the north or the top side of the map you will uh you'll have to go through a lot more resistance if you come all the way around if you wrap all the way around and bring the kid back home and then come up through the bottom here uh you should find tessa right there okay so there's tessa let me pull out my gauze it does more damage so there is tessa right there i don't know where she thinks she's going what the heck where is she going? Oh, there she is. Come here, Tessa. So she's in power armor. It is a piece of raider power armor, uh, as you will see in a minute here. Why does she not have a gun? I don't think she has a gun. Okay, so there it is. Oh my... The hell? Dude, really? Really, Gunner Corporal? I'm in the middle of something. Okay. So back to her. She has some de she has some interesting stuff on her. Not anything of too importance. I like this helmet though. Um, so I am gonna take that. The caps. None of this really matters to me. Uh, you get a T51 torso, which I wish I kind of would have broken, so I don't have to have that weight. Uh, but here it is. Tessa's fist. Uh, the big thing with it is it quadruples durability. Um, it is a. Um, a legendary weapon and the current mods on it are the standard plate and hydraulic bracers uh let's go ahead and head back to uh my main base and we will take a look at what upgrades you can actually uh throw on this let me run away so we can uh so you guys can see what kind of upgrades if any you can put on because the raider power armor has a very limited upgrades the heck did you come from there we go I love this pistol. It's not the best pistol ever, but I like it. That's why I've been like trying to make it as good as I possibly can, because I like using it. I've never really used pistols in Fallout games, so I found I finally found a pistol that I kind of like. So I'm, I'm using it, taking it out for a little bit of a spin, uh, but nothing nothing too big with that pistol. It's, it's probably the fourth best weapon that I have that I'm bringing out. Maybe the fifth? Uh... With the spray and pray being the best. I don't know. That pistol is is roughly the same with the sniper that I have. I should probably find a better sniper. If there is even a better sniper than the one I have. I highly doubt it. I don't think there is. Uh, but the sniper just does not get it done for me. And uh, so I've been using that pistol. Um, I do... I'm not sure which Raider Power Armor I'm going to put this on. I think I have two complete sets of Raider Power Armor. So it really doesn't matter to me which one I actually uh, throw this on. But let's get back up there. Let's get to my base. For some reason, the fast travel thing doesn't work. It doesn't spawn me at the fast travel. But it's not too far of a jaunt to get over here. Head down. And you did get that T-51. Like I said, I was looking for T-51 uh, because I don't have any T-51. Um, I am full. I'm going to have to add the add-on here soon down here for... Uh, for the next little wave of power armors. Um, I'm probably just going to run a wall here. And also here. And then just set up more power armor. I should probably do that here soon. But I haven't. Um, let's go ahead. Is this the... No. I have one that's mostly Mark II. I think it's this one. Yeah, here it is. So I don't know what the Tessa's Fist replaces. What did it re Oh, it replaces the it replaces the right arm, but there is Tessa's fist. I'm actually not going to keep it on this. Um, I actually have a different idea of what I want to put it on, but it does replace the right arm. I am going to go stick it over here on 
Uh, this power armor with the Paizo Nucleic, uh, the two legendary kind of armors, I'll stick them together here. And let's go ahead and see about upgrading this. Okay, so what? Let's go ahead and repair first. So you can have standard plate or welded plate. The welded plate increases the damage resistance. It also makes it way more, but let's go ahead and throw that on. And then the hydraulic bracers, you can get, um, I don't have the blacksmith level one. I should probably be getting that, but you can get rusty knuckles, uh, unarmed attacks cause bleeding damage, increased unarmed damage, uh, reduces action point cost for power attacks, and the hydraulic bracers that say none it doesn't give you anything um so i'm not sure what those do uh, but those are the upgrades here are these are the two pieces i'll show you guys the uh this one can get it all the way up to model f let's go ahead and do that this is just the piezo nucleic uh, you can throw any mod that you that you want on this um oh i can get the jetpack on this no way <laughs> i'm getting the jetpack on the piezo nucleic um, and so you can just mess around with this. I'll probably, I think I'm going to go winterized. I do like the winterized look, but, uh, that is how to get the, uh, Tessa's fist power armor and, uh, also what it looks like as well as the upgrade. So we do have a couple pieces of legendary armor now. Um, I'm assuming you can get a full set of power armor that is legendary, um, to go with uh, the Paizo Nucleic and Tezos Fist, but we still need both legs, the left arm and the helmet, uh, so I will be keeping my eyes out for those. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out!